Back in Acts chapter 19, we're in Acts chapter 25, but I want to start as a way of introduction because I've been talking about this every week, and it's affected me greatly. And in Acts chapter 9, we see there's this guy by the name of Ananias that God calls, and he says, Ananias, I want you to go and, I want you to go and, and lay hands on this guy by the name of Paul. In Acts chapter 9, and it says in verse 11, and, 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 and um, it says this, the Lord said, go over to the straight street, go over to straight street, the house of Judas, where you, when you get there, ask for a man from Tarsus named Saul, Paul's name is Saul the time. He is praying to me right now. I have shown him in a vision of a man, I, I've shown him a vision of a man named Ananias coming and laying hands on him so he can see again. So that's cool. So just like God is talking to Ananias, God has already talked to Paul. And he said, Paul, uh, this guy is coming over. His, his, his name is Ananias. He's a good dude. He's going to be one that lays hands on you. He, you're blind now, but you're going to see when this guy comes in. So when Ananias comes in, you already know who Ananias is. And then he says this. And then he says, For I have shown him a vision of man coming in, in, in verse 12. And then Ananias coming and laying hands on him. So we can see again. And Ananias says back to God, but Lord, you know, it's not always good when God tells us something and we say, but Lord, you don't know. Right? You don't know what you're asking me to do. How many of you guys done that? Done that? Right? Yeah. He says, but Lord, explained Ananias, I've heard the man, I've heard many people talk about this ter terrible things that this man has done to the believers in Jerusalem. But it sounds like Ananias didn't want to be a, a victim himself. In verse 14, he is authorized by the leading priest to arrest everyone who calls upon your name. But the Lord said, go for Saul. Check this out. His, his God's introduction of Saul to Ananias is my chosen instrument to take my message to the Gentiles and to the kings as well as to the people of Israel. And I will show him how much he must suffer for my name's sake. What an introduction we see about the Apostle Paul. An introduction that says he's going to be one. And he's going to go out. And I'm, he's going to go out. And he's, first of all, he's chosen by me. And I'm going to start as you guys, as we look at Paul's life, as we continue on, as we've done the last few weeks. I want you to think about your life and your position right now. See, because some of you guys I know, some of you guys have told me about yourself, you've trusted me enough over the years to tell me about you, yourself. One thing I know, God has not told me specifically, like he told Ananias about Paul, about some of your lives, and some I believe he has. The one thing I can tell you here for certain. He's chosen you for things. And all you have to do is do what Paul did and accept that you're chosen by God to do something. And if you